Hey, what's good family? It's been a minute since I've done a video on the new daily investment portfolio and we've hit a couple of milestones since. So in this video, I just want to check in, show you how the portfolio is doing and yeah, we'll be out of here. All right, so here we are. This is the interactive brokers platform to those of you that don't know. And if you are interested in trying this platform out for yourself, be sure to check out the interactive brokers platform down below in the description. For those of you that are unaware or this is the first time you're seeing one of these videos, this is the start of the fourth month. So we've been going at this a little over 90 days now, started back in April. And the premise of what I'm doing, my hopes, my goals, and everything I want to do with this is really just show off the power of consistency, good habits, and the compounding effect it has. Every day the stock market is open, $20 gets invested into two stocks or 10 to each, 10 to PayPal and 10 to Tesla. Actually, I've since upped it to $22 a day, so it'll be 10 to PayPal and 12 to Tesla. And on top of that, I deposit $500 once a month from it to get the money to invest into the stocks. And actually, if we take a look at it, you can see I have $708 buying power. And right now I have a total of $1,427 invested. So one thing that you can see over time is because the stock market is not open every day, that full $500 doesn't get invested every month. So over time I'll have nice cash buildup on the side. Uh, if I see any truly depressed stocks, anything that looks like an amazing deal, I will have some cash on the side there to buy them, scoop them up at good levels. But right now I am just focusing on Tesla and PayPal. Now that everyone's acquainted with what I'm doing with this account, let's take a look and see how everything is doing. All right. If you see the video just before this, you will see that it's not aging well right now because in the last video I said, this is probably the last time we'll see PayPal this low and it's crazy. PayPal ran up, uh, ran up a good amount since that video it probably ran up like 10, $12. But then after that, it came down even harder and it is now lower. But for me, this is just a buying opportunity. I still believe in PayPal. The, the fundamentals are still there. Uh, everything I saw is still there. So as long as those stay intact, I'm going to continue to invest and, and pick PayPal up at these levels. Going in and taking a look at PayPal, PayPal is trading at 57.59. On the day, I'm down almost 5%, oh, almost $5 on it overall. On the day, only down two tenths of a percent. Uh, the total amount I invested in the stock is just under $700. Average cost is $64.26, and I almost have 11 full shares of PayPal, which I wanna get as many shares as I can at, at these low prices. What's crazy is right now I'm down a total of $72.92 across all my shares. And in total that position, I took a 10% haircut. So that just under $700 I have invested in PayPal is now worth $626. And then going on to Tesla, on the day I am up $42 on Tesla. I'm up 2% today on that position. The stock itself is up ten dollars and 89 cents so tesla is starting to see some of that growth that i was expecting when i bought it you know i didn't know when it would start happening but it looks like it's starting to happen about three months into this and so far i've invested 678 dollars into the position my average cost is 176 and i have just under four shares of tesla so far with Tesla alone, I am up 126, just under $127, and up a total of 19% on the position. So looking at the two, I am up a total of $53 on my investment. So luckily Tesla is going up more than PayPal is going down. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of how we're doing. All in all, I can't complain. Right now I have $1,400 invested and $1,400 has made me 
an additional 55 right now. And I personally believe if we can let PayPal, if, if we give PayPal some time to do its thing, give Tesla some time to do its thing, hey, this is going to look a lot better. Let's see where we can get this in a year. Once again, I wanna reiterate, this isn't about making money fast. This is about compounding good decisions, uh, being consistent and you know, reaping the rewards. Maybe one day I use this money as a down payment for a house. Maybe one day I use it to pay for my kid's college fund, if that's cool, still cool. Maybe one day I start some other business and, you know, I use it to fund it. Or maybe I get more into philanthropy and I can do some good things with this money. Honestly, the options are endless, but it is because of the consistency that I'm putting in today, that I'll have the freedom to do what I want tomorrow. And that's really all I hope you're taking away from this. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Mangle signing off, and I want to change your life.